Kelly, come in here and sit down. You gave me such a scare today. You didn't tell me you were going to go down the street and play with Larry the Labrador. That wasn't very nice. But luckily, a very nice policeman helped me out. He was so nice and helpful, and he even gave you that wonderful hat, even though you were such a bad boy today. That reminds me, I learned a lot more about the police. I learned they do a lot more than just protect us from the bad guys. I wonder if the boys and girls out there have any questions about the police. Why don't you check the mail for us, Gilby, okay? All right, you go do that. Gilby loves to check the mail. He also loves to fetch answers to your questions. Shh, I think he's coming back now. Thank you, Gilby. I'm so glad we have a letter. Julian from Hotchkiss Elementary writes, Dear Gilby, what does it take to become a police officer? That's a very excellent question. Do you think you can fetch the answer to that question, Gilby? All right then, go fetch! <laughs> Hi, boys and girls. My name is Mike Matulovich. I'm the police chief in Akron, Ohio. I would not be standing here as a police chief were it not for my education and the values that were instilled in, in me at school. I listened to the teacher. I listened to my parents. I did the right thing each and every day. You could do the same thing. You could become the police chief of the city. You could become the president of the United States. Just follow these simple rules. Get a good education. Listen to your teacher. Listen to your parents. Gilby, it looked like so much fun riding in that police car. I wish I could have been there. I noticed, though, you stopped at the stop sign. That was very good, Gilby. You deserve a big treat for doing that, okay? There you go. Now it's time to check in with the boys and girls at Miller South to see what they drew us today. I bet it starts with a letter S, just like that stop sign. S. <laughs> I could either be a fireman or a policeman. Hi, boys and girls. I'm Nana Banana, and I'm here to teach Gilby about protect and serve. Gilby, let me tell you about some people you ought to know. They protect and serve our communities everywhere they go. Policemen are people who have very much to do. Call on them when you need someone to protect and serve you. They help kids cross the streets, and they even break up fights. They protect us from the bad guys morning, noon, and night. Firemen are people who ride in big red trucks. They put out fires and they rescue us whenever we get stuck. They help us escape a fire whenever we can't see. They even rescue animals that get stuck up in a tree. So Gilby, if you're ever in danger and you don't know what to do, dial 911. They'll send someone to protect and serve you. Bye, boys and girls. Thank you. Opposites. High. Cold. Full. Empty. 
fast, slow, tall, short, opposites. Hello boys and girls and welcome to Yum Yum Crunch. My name is Henry Johnson and I'm the owner of Henry's Acme. And of course, everybody knows my friend here, Gilby. Today, we're gonna to talk about some food products. First off, we have watermelon. Can you tell me what color this watermelon is? Right, this watermelon's red. It's sweet, it's juicy. There is a light uh, snack for you and it's good for you. Next, we have eggs. Absolutely right. How many of you like fried eggs or eggs soft? Well, that's where they come from. Can you tell me what color they are? Right, they're white. <laughs> Moving on down the line, I'm sure everyone loves something to drink. Well, can you tell me what color this drink is? Correct, it is pink. Sweet, it's good, better for you than pop. Tell mom to get it for you. And last but not least, Gilby's favorite, bananas. Can you tell me what color these are? Right, they're yellow grown on a tree. There again, it's a fruit and something good for you to eat. Well, boys and girls, that's all I have for you today. And thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. Hey, it looks like Gilby got a postcard from Traveling Tommy. Let's see where he's at today. Hey Gilby, Traveling Tommy here from Alaska. Did you know that Alaska is the largest of the 50 states? The best part about it here are all the really cool animals. I've seen a moose, huge fish, cows, and even baby bears. They look like real live teddy bears, but the big mama bear didn't want me to play with them, so I stayed away. The mountains, rivers, and lakes are so beautiful, Gilby. I wish you could be here with me. Well, it's cold and I'm gonna go get some mittens. This has been Traveling Tommy. So long. Why did the dog wear a watch? He wanted to be a watchdog. <laughs> If you have a question and you would like Gilby to fetch the answer for you, just email your question to gilby at askgilby.com or send your question to Ask Gilby, 65 Steiner Avenue, Akron, Ohio, 44301. Or you can call Gilby on the telephone toll-free at 1-877-275-4452. That's toll-free, 1-877-ASK-GILBY. Welcome back to Ask Gilby. Gilby, did you remember to turn the stove off after you made your breakfast? That's a good boy, because we don't want to start a fire. I've checked her email, Gilby, and we have one from Sharonda from Baird Academy. She wants to know, what does it take to be a firefighter? That's a very good question, Sharonda. Can you fetch the answer to that question, Gilby? All right, then. Ooh, go fetch. <laughs> Hi, my name is Brenda Chapman and I'm an Akron firefighter. And when you grow up, if you would like to drive one of these big red trucks and wear a helmet like this, you have to get good grades in school, learn how to read well, do your math, come to school every day, and most importantly, get in the habit of coming to school on time. 
and learn how to get along well with people. Those are some of the things that you have to do in order to do this job. Yellow. That's right, Gilby. On today's show, the color is yellow. Here at the fire station, we have several things that are yellow, including the tip of Mike's boots, and even though they're dirty, these pants started out as yellow, his coat is yellow, and even his helmet is yellow. So like we said, boys and girls, today's color is yellow. Hey, Gilby, I noticed that when you were at the fire station, all the firefighters wore yellow jackets. What else is yellow, Gilby? Very good. I bet there are a lot of other things that are yellow, too. You know, don't you? Okay, let's find out. Yellow. Yellow bumblebee. Yellow banana. Yellow. Thanks, Gilby, and welcome to the Critter of the Day with Leo's Art. Today, kids, we're going to meet one of the largest species or kinds of frog in the entire world. This frog is called a yellow-lipped horned frog. Now, this guy, his name is Lumpy. If you take a good close look at Lumpy's lips, you can see why scientists called him a yellow-lipped horned frog. Now, the horned part of his name comes from his eyes. His eyes on top of his head are pointed, looking kind of like a little horn sticking out of his head. The position of his eyes are very important for Lumpy because unlike other frogs, horned frogs, they like to hide on the ground, not in the water. If he was sitting on the ground in the forest, he would cover his body with leaves and dirt, only leaving his little pointy eyes sticking out so that he could see his food. Now, most of us think that frogs like Lumpy only eat flies, but a horned frog, it eats things like mice and rats, snakes and lizards. Sometimes horned frogs even eat birds and other frogs. So not all frogs are fly eaters. Some frogs eat many other kinds of animals, but they only eat animals. That means that a frog is a carnivore. A carnivore is a fancy name for an animal that only eats meat. Now you might be wondering what Lumpy has inside of that mouth of his. He has a sticky tongue, just like other frogs, and he also has a mouth full of teeth. All frogs have teeth. Now, most frogs can leap a very, very long distance. But horned frogs, since they're so big and lumpy, they only hop more like a toad. See if I tickle him a little bit. Let's see if Lumpy will hop for us. And that, my friends, is the Critter of the Day on Ask Gilby. and girls, I'm visiting Gilby today. I'm the book lady and I have some books to share with you. You probably already know Gilby and I'm sure our boys and girls know what fire trucks do and what police cars do and the people that drive the fire trucks and the police cars, but I'm not sure that you know what a mayor is. And I'm going to share a little information about what a mayor does from a book with you today. Mayors work in an office, and that's called City Hall. They often travel around the city, they visit different neighborhoods, and they go to meetings. 
Mayors also go to scenes of emergencies, which means they work with policemen and firefighters to help us. A mayor is the police and firefighters boss. If you want to know more about all these subjects, you can visit your public library. In fact, take your parents with you. I'm very happy to be visiting Gilby today, and I hope he invites me back and I get to see you again, too. Objects Fire truck Fire helmet Fire hydrant Police car Police hat Objects what kind of phone does a turtle have? A cellular phone. <laughs> We'll be back with more Ask Gilby right after this. For Gilby merchandise, tapes, DVDs, or to join Gilby's free clubhouse, visit AskGilby.com. That's www.AskGilby.com. Welcome back to Ask Gilby. Ringing, Gilby here. Hold this. Hold the ball. Hi, this is Miss Kathy. It's Riley from Margaret Park. Oh, that's a great question, Riley. Oh no, I don't think I know the answer to that question. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on a second. I know who could answer that question. Hey, Gilby, Riley wants to know what it takes to become mayor. Can you get the answer to that question for us? All right then. Go fetch. Hi, boys and girls. This is Mayor Don Pasquale of Akron. I became mayor not because I set out to become mayor, but because I had parents, first of all, who helped teach me right from wrong and discipline me. And I had great teachers who helped prepare me and encourage me to study so that I could be successful in whatever path I chose. And fortunately, I chose as I got older to run for mayor and I've enjoyed it and part of what I enjoy is making this city better for all of you young people and when you get older to become successful if you do what I've done and that is to follow what your teachers and your parents say you need to do study and know right from wrong In order to be mayor, you have to meet people from all over the place, and you have to juggle a lot of responsibility, just like these people. Hello, Gilby. It's Kevin the Juggling Guy, your old friend. How you been? They tell me you've been being a very good dog. That's wonderful. I thought today I'd bring you some juggling balls and show you a few tricks. So, Gilby, you just sit and relax and wait a minute. You're blocking the boys and girls. They can't see the juggling tricks if you're in the way. Gilby, why don't you sit and relax and I'll show you some fun juggling tricks. I know being the good dog that you are, that you'd know how to go fetch the ball. Gilby, maybe you could be the first dog juggler ever. That'd be a lot of fun. Maybe the boys and girls at home could practice and become jugglers as well. Remember, Gilby, juggling takes lots of practice and lots of concentration. And boys and girls, if you think juggling would be fun, you could sure try at home, but be careful that you don't hit any of mom's lamps. You got to know where to practice your juggling. And Gilby, it's always a pleasure to come and visit you, but I'm afraid today my visit has to be short. I have other boys and girls to go visit. So I want to thank you for inviting me over. And Gilby, I'll see you another day. Thanks again. Bye-bye, Gilby.
one, uno, two, dos, three, tres, four, cuatro, five, cinco, Six, six, seven, siete, eight, ocho, nine, nueve, ten, diez. What is a Dalmatian's favorite radio station? Spot Rock 91.3. A. A. Fire Hydrant. Eight ladders. Eight. Boys and girls, here's Augustus Bustus. <laughs> Hi, Gilby. I wrote a song today about some of my friends. My friend is a policeman, and his car has a siren. If you get hurt or see some smoke, then call a fireman. Each town has a mayor. We pick him when we vote. His name is Don, and he is nice, and he's the boss of both. My friend is a policeman, and his car has a siren. If you get hurt or see some smoke, then call a fireman. Each town has a mayor. We pick him when we vote. His name is Don, and he is nice, and he's the boss of both. My friend is a policeman, and his car has a siren. If you get hurt or see some smoke, then call a fireman. Each town has a mayor, we pick him when we vote. His name is Don, and he is nice, and he's the boss of both. Hey, I'll see you later. Take care. Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Kaufman, Gilby's music teacher, and he has a very special theme song all his own. Do you want to hear what it sounds like? All right, here we go. When you really want to know, but you don't know where to go, doodly doo dee doo ask Gilby. When you want to get the facts, but you don't know who to ask, doodly doo dee doo ask Gilby. Gilby's a Dalmatian with a fascination for answering your questions through exploration. When you really want to know, but you don't know where to go, doodly doo, doodly doo dee doo, ask Gilby. That was very good, boys and girls. Are you ready to learn the first part of the song? All right, here we go. You really want to know, but you don't know where to go. Doodly doo dee doo, ask Gilby. See how easy it is, boys and girls? Would you like to try one more time? All right, here we go. When you really want to know, and you don't know where to go. Doodly doo dee doo, ask Gilby. Boy, Gilby, it's sure been a busy day, but we learned so much about the people that protect and serve us. Remember when Mayor Pasqualic told us what it takes to become mayor? Great teachers who helped prepare me and encouraged me to study. And what about the yellow-lipped horn frog? That was so cool. Like other frogs, horn frogs, they like to hide on the ground, not. 
Well, boys and girls, it's time for us to go now. But remember, anytime you have a question, all you have to do is ask Gilby. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. If you have a question and you would like Gilby to fetch the answer for you, just email your question to gilby at askgilby.com or send your question to Ask Gilby, 65 Steiner Avenue, Akron, Ohio, 44301. Or you can call Gilby on the telephone toll-free at 1-877-275-4444. That's toll free, 1 877 Ask Gilby. When you